We are back with another show of Tech and Me. But first... Alright. Today, we have five apps as always. But first, we start with Electrum Drum. Okay, this is a ringtone. Actually, not ringtone maker, but uh, it's kind of like a beat maker. So, let's... You basically click the this is a kick this is a rim this is the different sounds you choose from uh, let's uh, click on what note you wanted I guess so and that should be it and if we just so this makes one noise this makes another noise this makes another noise you can hear it watch see that makes that noise that makes the drum noise that makes the clap noise that makes another drum noise okay and then when you play it all right uh, yeah that should be it so it makes noises and you can always save them so that's Electrum it's a paid app on the Android market it's about it's a whopping $3.99 for uh, 399 that's crazy okay next up we have smart keyboard pro okay smart keyboard pro is basically let's this is smart keyboard watch that's the keyboard see that now the cool part about smart keyboard is that you can flick to the right and watch I have numbers flick to the left and I have symbols click to the right I have back this numbers back alphabets click up caps click up caps click down keyboard is gone isn't that cool uh, let's see keyboard back up click up caps click to the left symbols click to the right so basically uh, this is the HTC Evo uh, this is the um, this is the HTC keyboard but we can choose from different keyboards like watch I'll show you so we go to the smart keyboard settings okay so we have smart keyboard this is the different keyboards I have installed so here we are um, let's see smart keyboards pro settings so you have different stuff to choose from language download di dictionary it has a dictionary uh, select skin you can have it displayed as an Android the iPhone a gray white or black keyboard let's try the iPhone keyboard alright and then what, what else do we have so we have skins we have enable arrow keypad we don't want arrow keypad on the key and always caps we don't want that portrait mode not always what else do we have sound on key press and volume vibrate vibrator duration auto capitalization quick fixes swap punctuation so diff we have different stuff basically lots of settings to go through and then you can always choose what swipe to the left does user dictionary auto text toggle symbols toggle shift so yeah cancel Alright, um, and if you go into advanced settings, it says show touch points, uh, candidate color, um, let's not mess with the advanced, I don't even know what the advanced settings are. Okay, so that was the settings, and this is smart keyboard, let's show you, let's go back, watch, the keyboard style has changed, it's an iPhone-ish style, switch to the right. We have numbers again, switch to the uh, right, we have alphabet, switch to the left. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's about 299 on the market. No, 297 to be precise right now. When I bought it, it was kind of cheaper. So this is a pretty cool app. Uh, what you guys want though is... Um, if you want to change your keyboard, you just hold anywhere wherever you have to punch in text whether it's your SMS app or whatever then you go into input method 
then you choose Android keyboard, Flex 9, Gingerbread, Smart Key Pro, Swipe. I can choose whatever I want. So here we have Smart Keyboard. That's how you switch keyboards on your Android phone. All right, next up. Next up, we have Easy PDF Reader. This is the best PDF reader you're going to find on the Android market. It's about 99 cents. And uh, you have, what do we have? We can choose from recent all PDFs it'll read all the PDFs and that's about and web docs so let's go to recent let's go to seven habits of highly effective people that's a book I have in PDF format let's wait it to let's wait for it to load and it's done loading so the cool part about the app is you can always you have the page turning effect see that That's the page turning effect you have. And then we have menus. Uh, in menu you have different stuff to choose from. Let's go to search. So you can always type in a word and you can search. Um, then what else do we have in menu? Okay, the menu, this is the cool part, text reflow. Now what I can do is if I want to read a big page, I can just zoom in and reflows the text to fit my screen. Now I can flick down, read the whole article. And once I'm done reading the page, I can zoom back out, right, and then flick the page. Go to next page, go to menu, go to options, and then go back to text reflow, zoom in read it, zoom back out, and we're done. So that was, that. this is Easy PDF Reader, it's the best PDF reader on the market. It automatically searches for all your PDFs in your phone. So it's pretty cool. It's only 99 cents and it's worth the money. Next up we have Wave Launcher. This is Wave Launcher, like the Palm Pre or basically like the web OS you have the wave launcher so you have five icons to choose from whichever one I leave it on so this is wave launcher it's again it's kinda of pointless I don't know why they charge you money for this but it's 99 cents on the market again so if I want to change my stuff I just click it, it give me it gives me the options whatever app I wanted to change so here I have camera and we can change it to catch we can change it to Yahoo Messenger or whatever and uh, that's about it okay so you can even have a, like direct dial direct message toggle Google voice you can have from apps to whatever contact whatever you want right you can choose your contact let's not go into that right now so that was it that's my four apps and now for the best live wallpaper the best live wallpaper of the week is bubble it's a free live wallpaper on the android market it even has a paid version so you go into settings you can choose from different stuff like bubble theme now right now I have red let's choose a different one like let's choose blue alright so that's blue the bubbles keep coming up and you can always pop the bubbles you can have the different uh, amount of bubbles coming in so let's set it and that's it that's it for the week uh, I'll have one more episode coming soon, so subscribe. Alright, peace.